Well, I just thought I'd make a simple video here about this uh, little tablet oscilloscope. Uh, I just bought it yesterday. Um, bit of background. I've got a, a Keysight uh, oscilloscope, which is my main scope, and it's got a I think it's about 350 megahertz um, bandwidth. It's in fact higher than that, but it's um, it's what I use for for main um, uh, captures where I need to have good resolution. Um, I've also got one of these little Icologic things. Um, it's quite good. It's for taking measurements sort of away from your scope. Um, it, it runs on an iPad and you have um, the waveform on that. And it's very, very good, but it's got one big drawback. And that is you actually, to turn it on, you actually have to press down. So you press the probe. And I found that that becomes a bit of a problem when you've got fairly close um, legs on a, uh, an IC, like a, a main CPU IC. And I was doing some stuff with um, building a, a, a CNC machine, a laser cutter. And um, I wanted to, to, to examine some waveforms that weren't quite right. And I didn't want to drag my main scope over. So I'll, sorry, I'll buy one of these little portables. They're very cheap. I mean, this was 130 quid on Amazon, um, which is not very much. And I, I read the reviews and there were some very scathing reviews. It's supposed to be 100 megahertz and one giga sample per second. And a lot of people were going on about how you know, it's not 100 megahertz. I think, well, for 130 quid, what the hell are you expecting? It's Chinese. We know they exaggerate. <laughs> so anyway, it arrived yesterday and I put it through its paces. And I've got to say, it's a nice little machine. It's incredibly robust. I mean, it's beautifully cased. Uh, good plastic. The screen is very, very nice. Uh, I've no complaints about the screen. Um, it's very usable. Uh, it's quite simple to use. You know, tap the left hand side, tap the right hand side. You've got the ability to put cursors in it. Anyway, this is not a review of the whole damn thing. But what I wanted to say was that a lot of the um, a lot of the criticisms seem to me to be pretty much unfounded. This does have a re resolution almost up to 100 megahertz. It's got one up to 90. Uh, I will put some screen caps on at the end of this thing, but it has a resolution up to 90. The only thing that happens is that the amplitude drops off. But to my way of thinking, if I want to measure, measure something up to that, those sort of frequencies, I'll use my main scope. What I want this for is for, for checking stuff out where I want to see a waveform and I'm not particularly bothered too much as to what the main parameters of that waveform are. Like, for example, why is the stepper motor not rotating? Is it getting step pulses? Are they out of sync? Stuff like that, where this is perfectly adequate. And as I say, I've got to say, for the price, it's, it's quite outstanding, really. You'll find these, uh, this particular model under a whole raft of different names. I assume there's one factory churns them out and then everybody else badges them. Um, so, yeah, you'll probably find them all over the place. Nice little machine. Um, as I say, it's compact. It's got a fairly big battery. Um, not much else you can say about it. I'm really actually very impressed. It's one of those times when you buy something expecting it to be rubbish, but you know, rubbish that you can live with and find out that it's actually very, very good. So I just thought I'd put this out here if anybody's looking to buy I got this off Amazon, as I said, so which was reasonably risk-free. If it turned out to be a pile of poop, I'd just send it back to them. But I am actually very, very pleased with it. OK, so I'll wrap this up. I'll put some um, screen caps at the end so you can see. So what we have here is the capture on the key site, the main scope of the 100 meg signal. And then here we see the 100 meg on the um, the tablet, which is... Not bad. Then we see one here where it's uh, 90 meg. You can see it's getting a little bit bigger. And this is at 50 meg. Now that's pretty respectable, I would have said. That's not bad. 50 meg is a pretty good uh, bandwidth. So there you go. 